we need to be inspired to imagine and to wonder just as we need food and water. And if you enter into a relationship with a learner or a teacher with that understanding and the understanding that it's actually a privilege to enter into a conversation with somebody, I would even go further to say that it is a sacred act to exchange ideas, then you're bound to be successful and you're bound to inspire. As my teaching career progressed, I, I started to recognize that we teach in very Cartesian ways. We teach science as being separate from math and math being separate from art. What we think is informed by how we feel, how we feel is informed by how we think, and all the things that unite us as human beings are imperative precursors to wonder. There's this amazing creature called the mantis shrimp, and the mantis shrimp has 16 different cones. It can perceive 16 different colors. So if you think about other human beings, students and teachers, as being able to perceive in that way that are not revealed to us, and you think about the opportunity for that unveiling as a consequence of that sacred educational act, you're just entering into teaching and learning from a whole new perspective. You're treating people as being a source of unveiling. And after all, isn't the world about unveiling, the unveiling of reality? That is what inspires me, and I think that is what has inspired the students that I've been in relationship with. Mm -hmm.